Hi guys, we are back. It's 2018. It's the triple scoop. You'll notice that Russell Sermonaro is no longer here. Rest his soul. He graduated. Yeah, it's he, not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. He left the show to me and my boy Brian over there. We're going to take it, good care of it. It's his baby. We're going to nurture it into a nice, full-grown teenager. Like so, these trees. Hey, so, yeah, okay. in case you've never watched Triple Scoop before, it is the show where we talk about music, we talk about movies, we talk about TV shows, and in this segment in particular, we're going to talk about music, and even more particularly, songs of the summer. What we listen to this summer. It's been a long time since we've been on this show. We might have taken a break at the end of the semester because people are getting lazy. But we're back, the same set, some new faces. We got a bunch of freshmen here. Let's get into the meat of it. Brian, what was your favorite album, song of the summer? Favorite song of the summer? Album, song, album, music uh, video. You know, I, when it comes to uh, music videos, I mean, I was, I was totally hooked on uh, God is a Woman, Ar Ariana Grande. Um, she's, uh, I, I don't know if anyone's heard of her. She's kind of low. She's not very well known. Uh, I just know that she's, a, uh, she's uh, marrying Pete Davidson, a guy from SNL, very well known, very nice guy. Um, so I think she did pretty well, uh, but yeah, no, that that uh, that video, it was uh, it was pretty good. And it had some had some flaws in it. Uh, production value was kind of low, but it was still a pretty decent video. I don't think the production value was that low, dog. I think we could have done better. Uh, sure, I'm, I'm we gonna be can always with you. do better. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was a pretty good video. It was a pretty decent song. Uh, you know, give it like I don't know, probably like two and a half scoops out of eighty. Um, wait. No, yeah, two and a half out of eight, my bad. Out of eight? Two and a half out of eight. Out of eight scoops, I'd give it that. So uh, why, was that, why was that the song of your summer? Oh, it's because it was the one that I remembered the most. It was the one that came to the top of my head when you asked me. Sure. Uh, We're, so, uh, yeah, that's my song of the summer. Ryan, how about you? Ryan, what was your song? So I'm surprised no one on this set wanted to do this. I chose Puppy Love by Oh, by no, no one wanted to do it. I right. was very surprised. Okay, well, that's <laughs> All right. fine. Yeah. What, um, what, what, what about Puppy Love did you like? So I'm going to ask you this first. Did you listen to Best Buds in 2016? Of course I did. I listened I to it when that it a came lot. out. I liked that a lot. So I, was, I had this worry, right? Because I liked that so much. Like, I kind of wondered how much further up could they go from there. I was a little worried. There were things they could work on, but I was a little worried. My first listen through Mom Jeans, it, I liked the second half more than the first half. I think, that, I think the kids are calling them bangers. I think they said that it slaps. Um, it, the, yeah. the second half definitely slaps. I listened to it again because I wanted to give it another chance. I liked all the songs. I think it starts off a little slow, especially if you're not a fan of the band. But I, as I said, the second half you have the Sponsor Me tape, you have part two. My favorite song was John Bon Jovi. That was, that was really good. I think you look at a guy like Eric Butler, I think his lyricism, uh, it improved from Best Buds to, to Puppy Love. I think that his vocal work improved. I think that in the in their first album, he he kind of forced some notes. He tried to hit some things that he couldn't hit. This time, he was a lot better with that. Instrumentals were tighter. The melodies were nice. The harmonies in some of the songs were very catchy. I would love to see them live. Side note, friend of the Triple Scoop, Ali Nugent. My girl. That was their, that was their album. She's, actually, oh, she's yeah. actually upstairs. Shout out, shout out to so. Ali. She took the album picture, the cover art for that. That's, that's dope. Ali's dope. I agree. The second half even as I keep listening to it, it's better. Mm -hmm. It's definitely better than the first half. I think Now This Is Pod Racing is my favorite song on the album, or You Can't Eat Cats, Kevin. Those are like my top two. It has that girl in it. I don't know who she is. She doesn't tour with the band, but it just added a little, a little something, something to it, a little pepper. I agree with you, Ryan, that the lyrics were like significantly better this time. Last, bus, Best Buds was all about like, being sad and smoking weed. Mm -hmm. Like that was the entire album. It was like, I'm sad, I'm smoking weed. This time he was like a little happier. I like it when Mom Jeans is happy. He still smokes some weed in it. He talks about smoking weed, but like it's not the center point of the, uh, the album. So I thought that was really cool. It was, it was. It, it came was, out in July. Slapped. It and slapped. I, I said, I, from that point, there was still a lot of time left in the summer. I said, that's the album of the summer. That was Nothing's my, yeah, top. I was going to work every day. I was like, I'm going to listen to this music. I had always just turned out being Puppy Love. I was listening. It was like the perfect length because it's only like 30 something minutes long. It was the perfect length for me to drive to work. I loved it. It was just like the. I think, I think it's the album that you give, you put the, the certified bop 
It was definitely the certified shout out bop. to Dave Juro of Shark Club. It was a certified bop. Certified That's bop. That's all I'm going to say. Maybe. Going back to it, because the show's about me. My favorite, my favorite, it was more of a song of the summer. Oh. It, it was uh, Yeah Right by Joji. Also, also is, if you know about YouTube, Filthy Frank. It was just. That's a real RIP. Pink guy. But yeah. as Joji, he released this song called Yeah Right. It was off of an EP. He released it first as a single, but like, it was so good. It, like, it, if you know anything about, any yeah. like about him, this the song so mellow. It just again, I'm gonna use it. It bopped. It bopped. It bopped. It was just a good. Well, bop. see, it's like the album Certified Bop, but that's a song. It's the it's song's just a, a certified bop. The song just bop. bopped. It was so it was good. Bop. It's another song that the way I listen to music, I get mad at myself because I'll listen to like one song, 400 times. And then I'll stop liking that song. Yeah, you get sick of it. I get sick Happens of that song. Happens all the time. I'm, I'm in the middle of listening to Yeah Right 500 times. Like, I'm gonna, when I go home, I'm playing that on my way home. Like, that's going to come up. And then, again, Puppy Love comes up a lot. But right now, Joji, Yeah Right, it is a bop. Absolute bop. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, and, and the thing about Joji is, like, where he started from on YouTube, kind of, um, is, you know, very, like... Uh, he was very kind of uh, eccentric. Yeah, yeah. Wild. He and, was like and, the, and he's like the YouTube bad boy. Yeah, he really was, and he kind of put that away, and now he's kind of pursuing his music career, and he's doing a really, he's really doing fantastic a, he's doing a job. Stand up. He's job. like he should. He deserves a lot more credit. People need to be checked. I know. He, I know a lot of people are starting to listen to him more, but he's doing a really bang up job, as the kids my, would say. My my goal is for Post Malone and Jody to collab. To collab. They know each other. Like, I know they know each other. They're exactly. actually friends. So like we we they, figured it out. We, figured, we out. figured it out. So if they uh, collabed, that that'd would be great. Be, that'd that be would crazy. be great. So thank you guys for showing up, tuning in, listening to us talk about stuff that you might not care about, but we care about, and when we want you guys to care about it. So stick around. We'll be right back, and we're going to talk about more stuff. Hope you guys stick around. Stay tuned. Be right back. God bless.